Yo, what is up YouTube? My name's Aaron and today we are going to be doing uh, a long-awaited video. Uh, a question that's been asked to me multiple times. I just haven't had the time uh, to do it, but now we are here. We are going to do it. So basically what we're going to be doing is showing you how to download custom zombie maps to get them to work on Call of Duty World at War and for the up and coming Black Ops 3. So the first thing you need to do before going to any site is you want to go to your folder, your Windows Explorer, I believe it is called. What you want to do is navigate to the local disk or the C drive. You might have tons of drives right here. You can have boot drives, all types of stuff flash drives but what you want to go to is the letter C this is your main drive and this is where it's gonna be at and the first thing that you want to do is go up to the top and hit view if you're on Windows 8.1 or 8, 8.1 or 10 uh, you can do this if you're on 7 or anything like that you're gonna have to go somewhere else to be able to do this uh, you could Google it if I can find it I'll let you know down in the description or if you have troubles comment and I'll reply to you uh, tell you where to find this stuff out but what you want to do is make sure this hidden items is checked now watch this watch the OneDrive temp as I uncheck this it goes away and whenever we go back it comes right back to it so this will allow you to be able to get into those files to add the modded zombie folder that you need to have so the first thing you want to do is go to users your name or whatever your computer is called app data and as you can see this is one of those files that you're not supposed to be able to get into or it remains hidden so you don't mess around in there and mess up anything so you go there you go to app data local activision Call of Duty World at War and right here you if you've never done this before you're not gonna have this folder this folder is called mods what you need to do is right click new folder and whenever it comes up you need to type in MODS no capitals not this uh, that might work but nothing random okay nothing at all uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this because obviously I already have that folder. So once you have the mods folder, nothing's going to be in it. These are all my zombie maps. You're not going to see any of these. So you have that done complete. You can minimize this or close out. It doesn't matter. I'm going to minimize this for right now. Then what you want to do is go to zommods.com or zombie modding there's tons of websites this is one of my favorites for right now uh, just because there are tons of maps that I don't have from this website I've pretty much looked at zombie modding pretty much got everything I want so what we're gonna do is find a map that you want uh, I could be right here on the side or you can get deep into this you go to best custom maps it'll load up it'll do what it does but uh, for right now we're gonna go to nuketown okay if it will load internet Oh man. Okay. Oh well. It, it comes. It, it's probably gonna go away now. It's probably gonna go away. Uh, let's just do Kim Plant Elite, I guess. Uh, not too sure why this is running that slow. Usually it's instant. I don't know. Internet troubles. I was watching Netflix a second ago and it started disrupting. That's probably what it is. Tons of stuffs going on right now. Wow. That was really slow. Uh, okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to hit the download link. This right here is a review, basically. It's going to bring you to Mega or wherever. You're going to download through your browser. Always do not hit download with MegaSync unless you want to download MegaSync. Takes too long. Just do your browser. This is going to start up uh, depending on your internet speed, uh, how cooperative this place is, your server, whatever. We're going to run through it real quick because it seems like this is going by extremely quick. 87 mega bytes it should be going by quick and uh, we are almost done and what you're gonna see is if you're using Firefox it's gonna come up right here and if you're using Chrome or hopefully not Internet Explorer it's gonna be down here somewhere it's gonna be down around the bottom alright okay or it's just gonna open up like that so what you wanna do and good I, I got the other one now some are installers and uh, I'll show you how an installer works before I do this sometimes you get um, this psychopathic installer exe it's gonna ask you it's because it's an exe 
um, it's going to prep you that it could be a virus or something. Um, but what you need to do is just hit the install button, go through the tutorial, or go through the steps it says, and it's going to be like something, are you sure this installed correctly, use compatibility mode, or yes it did. Either way, either two of those buttons you click, it will work, no matter what. You can install using compatibility settings, which um, sometimes I would recommend. I do recommend that sometimes. I can see some maps in the past that I should have done that to, and it probably would have worked better. So just go ahead and do that always. But luckily, we have this map right here, and it's going to be a zip. And we're just going to open with WinRAR. Uh, it's probably going to pop up. Yeah, I've had this for years. But... What you want to do is once you get this map, and I'm so glad I found a map like this. It's an older style map. Most of the newer maps are installers like I showed you on the previous one where it just puts it in the folder for you. So what you're going to do is extract. You're going to go all the way to your C drive again. Same steps, just a different layout. Users, your name, app data, local, Activision, Call of Duty World at War, and you can just click the mods folder, hit OK, everything's going to extract there. Uh, what is this called? Chemplant Elite. So uh, I guess we're going to go test this up now. Probably should have launched Steam before we did this. Probably should have. It always updates, and I know it's just going to drag out as much as it can. Uh, we're going to let Steam update real quick, and I'm going to give uh, a quick shout out to all of you for uh, allowing me to reach... 3,850 subscribers. Oh my god. I never thought that it would even... I would be this close this soon. I mean, I always knew, like, yeah, I'm just going to keep working until I get there. But you guys don't understand. Uh, just a few months ago, I was teetering around 1,100. So we have come up a lot in these past couple of months. I am making great moves. And it looks like Steam is ready. Let me yank it over here uh so as you can see the it was off screen for you if you're using like a normal um a normal kind of setup just one monitor uh it'll be on your screen you don't have to drag it over at all but because i'm using three monitors uh it gets lost sometimes hopefully i'm gonna take a screenshot of all three and i'll put in like kind of like what it looks like it's gonna look very small in this video uh or in the video that you're watching but hopefully Everything works out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, launch Call of Duty World of War. Now, where you made the mod folder, you're going to see it. it's going to come up. Um, and sometimes you might get this uh, if you've uh, had to cancel the process on World of War because it's slow or whatever. probably going to say something like uh, use compatibility settings or something. That's whenever you're going to click no or safe settings because that will reset all your controller configurations yes you can use a controller on this game and yes it will reset all of your mouse uh, whatever so right here are the mods that's the folder that you made now if you did not make that folder you will not see this here and you've already messed up you just got to restart from the beginning so you're going to go to mods i already forgot what we downloaded i'm not too sure i think it started with an e maybe i don't know i have so many maps it's so hard to um, hmm, <laughs> okay, so I'm having some trouble figuring out which one I downloaded. Uh, Ken Plant Elite, there we go, found it. I knew it started with an E, I, I knew it. And you're going to launch this up, and once you launch it up, what the, um, okay, right there it is. I, I it was weird, sometimes they replace the actual solo button, and actual like co-op button and then sometimes they add their own thing like they just did right there i don't know i've never played this map this map could be cool honestly that map was honest i wasn't even supposed to get that i was trying to get nuketown because i knew it was going to be an installer and like i said most of you if you're looking into newer maps and especially with black ops 3 coming out probably all going to be installers no more of these like maps that you just gotta manually enter in. I think the installers work a little bit better in my opinion, but uh, like I said, that is just me. So as you can see, we are here. We're playing and wow, I feel kind of small. This map makes me kind of, oh, oh man. Okay, I, I'm digging this map style. 
Come on, blow up. All right, well, this isn't a gameplay or a gameplay walkthrough or whatever like that. Um, this is kind of just getting you set up on your way, way to, um, to download some custom zombie maps. So hopefully uh, a lot of people can watch this. Hopefully you guys share this around. If you don't already have World at War and you want to know if your current computer can play World at War, which is a very good question. I get asked that a lot. Can I play World at War? Uh, how does it work? Yada yada. Uh, just make sure you have a dedicated graphics card. Uh, that pretty much will do you the trick. It doesn't really matter what dedicated graphics card you have. But um... That's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, the big thing to remember is to make that mods folder. And once you make it, right there is Ken Plant Elite, just if you want to double check before you go in there. Uh, nothing really to do inside of this, this folder right here. You can look. Uh, if you don't like a map, this is where you can delete it if something did not work. And uh, that's where it's going to go. So if you don't get the automatic WinRAR pop-up where it's like, what do you want to do, save this file or whatever, like I said, you go right here and right there it is. You can go straight to the folder where the actual installer is. Well, in this case, the zip file is. Um, so, I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Maybe a lot of people needed this and it wasn't out there. Detailed instructions. Uh, hopefully I gave that to you guys. But yeah, Zomods and Zombie Modding are two of the best websites for getting yourselves custom zombie maps. I'm sure when Black Ops 3 comes out, there's going to be tons more of, of different websites out there. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Watch all these videos. I upload every single day. And by every single day, I do mean... <laughs> every single day and and if you're still here this is a very long video i know that if you are still here and you're wondering why my colors like you see how it's purple right here and then it goes to this blue and then like this is a different shade blue and this is gray background but it all is kind of the same you know what i mean like here's some blue and it looks like it's in blocks and then there's green and red's gonna be yeah red's next and then a little bit of yellow that's months guys this entire red block is one complete calendar month. Green, one complete calendar month. Although, this was kind of whenever I started doing a lot more than one video a day. I was doing like a handful a day. So, a lot of these are, if they're bigger blocks, bigger days. I don't know. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. My name's Aaron. I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. In fact, let's just go ahead and do that screenshot real quick. I use Gyazo for everything. So what I'm gonna do is drag here and keep on dragging all the way across. Bam. And now watch what's gonna happen. It's gonna it's gonna pull up on the web browser. I hope. Slow network speeds tonight. Oh my gosh, there it goes. So Jesus, do you see that? Do you see this? A lot of screen real estate. One, two, three. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name's Aaron. I'm going to get off. Go to bed. Probably. I don't know. Watch Netflix. Peace.